Welcome, I'm Joshi, and in this playthrough of Marvel Champions, we have Black Widow and Hulk versus Taskmaster and Expert. So let's go through our setup. We set each captive ally uh, side out of play. So let's these guys just shuffle them up and put them out of play. And we search the encounter deck for a Hydra Patrol and put a Hydra Patrol side scheme put into play. There it is. So this comes in with four threat, two per player. Brings a crisis cycle into play, so we cannot remove threat from the main scheme. And it says when defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard power for Hydra minion and puts them into play and engage with them. Going to advance in the scheme to 1B, we have 12 threat per player. The scheme's out, so at 24, this will we'll lose the game. Uh, there's a forced response in here. After resolving step one of the villain phase, each player in hero form uh, must choose to either place one threat here or take one damage. Uh, so this comes in with one threat per player, so we'll have two on that. And we have Taskmaster, who has a scheme of two, attack of two. Uh, when revealed, we deal each player and counter cards, so we have to do that. And he has a force response after a player changes to hero form, they discard top card in the deck and take damage equal to the number of boost icons on that card. Uh, so we have Black Widow in Alter Ego and Hulk in Aggression. Hopefully Widow can deal with the threat while Hulk does the damage. Let's see how we go. All right, so Black Widow, Natasha gets six card. We have Foiled, another Foiled, Espionage, Counterintelligence, Spycraft, and Professor X. I'm going to hold on to Professor X and Counterintelligence. I'm going to discard these four and draw four more cards. Another Espionage, Tacrobatics, Dance of Death, and Power of Justice. Over on Bruce Banner, we have five cards. We have a Heli Carrier, Banner's Laboratory, Bug, Thunderclap. And Hulk smash. Hmm. Can't believe I'm going to do this, but I'm going to throw away the Thunderclap and Hulk smash. Got Boundless Rage and Blade. All right. Over our for Natasha, we're going to use a Power of Justice to put in Counterintelligence, which is a preparation and skill when any amount of Threat uh, would be placed on the main scheme. We can discard counterintelligence and prevent three of that threat. Uh, Natasha has a response here. Uh, when you, after you play a preparation card, draw one card, limit once per phase. So we'll draw a card. We have strength. We will do strength and the dance of death to put in Professor X. After Professor X enters play, we can choose to confuse the villain, stun a minion already an X-Men character. We will confuse the villain. We'll then use a Tacrobatics to put in Espionage, which is play for a control spy character, which Natasha is both in hero and alter ego form. Uh, when the search keyword on an encounter card would be resolved, we can discard this to draw two cards. Flip up into hero form. Uh, we have to take, discard the Carving and Cato can take damage based on the boost icons, which will be one. Takes one damage. Professor X will thwart for three off here. Then Natasha will thwart for two, which will clear it. So when defeated, each player searches the encounter deck and discard off for Hydra minion and puts them into play, engage with them. So let's go find a couple of Hydra regulars, there's one. So it has insight one. When this card is revealed, place one threat main scheme, but because we're put into play, we don't need to worry about the when revealed effect. There's another one. And Professor X should have one consequential damage on him. Okay, over on Bruce's turn. We'll use our experimental research ability to draw a card and discard a card. Limitless Strength. We'll throw away Boundless Rage. Flip up to Hulk. We take 
no damage, there's no boost icons. We'll use our limitless strength to put in a heli carrier. So we exhaust the heli carrier, choose a player, we reduce the cost of the next card played by one for that round. Uh, we will then spend two resources to put in bug. So after your hero makes a, a basic attack, we heal one damage from bug. So what we'll do is we'll attack for one with bug over here on the Hydra regular. He'll take a damage, but then Hulk will swing for three and knock out this Hydra regular and heal bug. So I'll have no more damage. On him. And we're ready up. So we'll draw five cards for Black Widow. So we have a Widow's Bite, Grappling Hook, Winter Soldier, Beat Cop, and a Grappling Hook. Hulk, we have four cards. We have Combat Training, Hand Cannon, Endurance, and Plan B. Alright, so we get two threat on the main scheme. Uh, Hulk will like to take a damage, as will Black Widow, instead of placing threat on the main scheme. Uh, Taskmaster attacks her for two, but Professor X will defend. So two plus minus three knocks out Professor X. And then this guy hits her for two. Then over here on Hulk, Taskmaster attacks him for two. He's just going to take it. Two plus nothing. And then we get encounter cards, another one to Widow, another one to Hulk. First encounter card, the villain in each minion engages you, attacks you. All right. We are going to defend with Widow against Taskmaster attack. So two plus three all up. So she'll take one from her two defense and then this guy will hit us for two. And next encounter card, we have Hydra Soldier and he comes in with guard. And when he's defeated, deal the engaged player an encounter card. Hulk side, we have Catch It by Hydra. So when revealed, we place a captive ally, random captive ally set under here. Sorry, I place a one random set aside captive ally face down beneath this scheme. And when it's defeated, the player defeated this, takes the ally into the hand and removes this scheme from the game. And that comes in with five threat. This crisis icon should be gone. And gives us an acceleration icon. And we have a Hydra Hunter. So Scheme 2, Attack 2, Health 3, and their attacks have piercing and ranged. Hulk's now first player. Okay, we will. Bug will attack for one to knock out this Hydra regular. Takes a damage. But then Hulk's going to attack for three to knock this guy out, which will heal Bug. Going to use a heli carrier to put plan B in for free. With plan B, we can exhaust and discard one random card for our hand and deal two damage to an enemy. We're going to use a hand cannon to put in endurance. Get us three health. Takes up to 18. Then we will use plan B uh, and discard our one random card we have left. Put two damage on this Hydra Soldier. Okay, and for Black Widow, we will we'll flip down. We'll use a grappling hook to play a Widow's Bite. Now, limb one space, we get to draw a card. Another counterintelligence. We're going to spend. So, we have Winter Soldier here who reduce the cost to play Winter Soldier by one for each preparation card you control. Uh, we have three preparation cards in play. We're going to discard a grappling hook. Just the one resource needed to play Winter Soldier. He 
he is going to he's actually going to thwart two off here takes one consequential damage and that'll be it we'll ready up Hey Hulk gets four cards, a crushing blow, moment of triumph, you'll pay for that, and another crushing blow. Okay, and over on Widow's side, we'll grab four more cards of Agent Coulson, Nick Fury, Safe House, and another Espionage. Alright, we get three threat on the main scheme. Uh, Hulk decides to take a damage. And Taskmaster attacks him for two plus one, so three. Taking Hulk down the 14. Uh, he would go to scheme on attach, but he's confused. And then this guy schemes for one. Taking us to 8 out of 24. Getting counter cards. Hulk first. The villain schemes. So schemes for 2 plus minus 3. So at 11. And under fire. Surge and reveal the top card in counter deck. Uh, we will. Use our espionage ability when a search keyword on a counter card would be resolved. We discard espionage and draw two cards. Go to Black Widow's Gauntlet and Genius. Okay, our next card is Surge and Exhaust Our Identity. And then we get a Hydra Sidearm, attach the villain. When he attacks, he gains ranged. And a physical and mental resource we can spend to get rid of that. And our next encounter card, uh, we give the Bruce Banner player, we flip form, and for Bruce Banner, we uh, discard two cards from our hand. And discard this obligation. We will discard it, you'll pay for that, and a crushing blow. All right. Now Natasha's turn, really want to be able to heal with her, but I can't do that. Uh, we're going to spend one, two, and four to bring in Nick. And we'll draw three cards with Nick, but I foiled. Covert Ops, and Spycraft. Okay, we will thwart for two with Winter Soldier, we'll thwart for two with Nick to remove Captured from Hydra from the game. We get this ally into our hand, and it is Electra. We'll put Electra into play, she costs nothing. After we play from hand, we can spend a physical resource to do three damage to enemy, we'll do that. We'll do it to this Hydra Soldier. Get rid of him. After he's defeated, we get an encounter card. Okay, we will... Spend one. Use Helicarrier to make it one cheaper. And another card to do Covert Ops, which is just an action, it's not even a hero action. Thwart, remove four threat from a scheme and confuse the villain. Take four threat off here. This is gone.
Taskmaster is confused. You have to use one resource to put in safe house 29. Which alter ego action, we can exhaust safe house and just preparation kind of discard pile and add it to our hand, which we're going to do. We'll just bring espionage back and we're going to use that to pay for Widow's Gauntlet, which we can exhaust Black Widow's Gauntlet and generate a wild resource for a preparation card. Nick should have a damage on him. Uh, Electra is going to attack Taskmaster for three, taking him down to 33. She takes one damage. And now Bruce's turn. We're going to flip up into Hulk. Actually, before we do that, we'll use our ability, draw a card and discard a card. Limitless Stamina. All doesn't really make a difference. We flip up to Hulk. We take damage, we take three damage. Thing is down to 11. Bug's going to attack for one. Actually, Bug will thwart one. He will then use a physical resource for a crushing blow. Deal damage equal to attack, which is three. Then we'll make a basic attack of three. Taking Taskmaster down 27, which heals Bug. Then we're ready. Okay, Natasha gets six cards. We have Under Surveillance, Spycraft. Power of Justice, Black Widow's Gauntlet, Widow's Bite, and Covert Ops. Hulk gets four. We have Moment of Triumph. Moment of Triumph, Unshakable, and Smash the Problem. Okay, we get two threat on the main scheme. Hulk will, he'll just take a damage. Now, Taskmaster goes to scheme, but he's confused. He then attacks Hulk, which Nick is going to defend. So he's coming for one, two, three, four. Just going to knock out Nick. And get our encounter cards. First of all, Natasha, we have another captured by Hydra. Same thing again. And next card, Combat Knife. Attach to the villain, the villain gains uh, piercing. And a mental and physical we can spend to get rid of that. And we have photogenic reflexes, photographic reflexes, sorry. Uh, so we touch Taskmaster. When a player attacks him, prevent all damage that would be dealt Taskmaster and deal an equal amount of damage to that player's identity instead. Then we discard that. Hulk's first. We will attack for one with Bug, which will get rid of this and deal one damage to our identity. Bug takes one consequential damage. We will spend one resource to exhaust our hero and remove threat from a scheme equal to our attack, which is three, so taking this down to two. Uh, we'll then spend one resource to bring in Unshakable. So Hulk gains steady, meaning he'll need two status cards of stunned or uh, confused to take effect. 
Get over here, safe house should be ready. We will thwart for one, sorry, thwart for two. With Winter Soldier, to clear this. This gets removed from the game. And we get White Tiger. We will bring White Tiger into play. We will We won't worry about spending a mental resource. We can spend a mental resource after we put into play and remove three threat from a scheme, but we're not going to worry about that. So White Tiger's gonna thwart three off here. Uh, Natasha's going to recover three. Electra is going to attack for three. Taking Taskmaster down to 24. We're going to use Power of Justice to put under surveillance on the main scheme, bringing that threshold to 28 for, it to, for us to lose. We're going to use the heli carrier uh, just, and two more resources to do a covert ops. So remove four threat from a scheme and confuse the villain. Taking that down to one. Taskmaster gets confused. Uh, we're going to hold on to actually no, we'll use the safe house. Just grab Widow's Bite again, and we'll use Widow's Bite to put the other gauntlet into play. So I've got two gauntlets now. And then we're all ready. Oh, and Bug should be healed from Hulk's attack. All right, Hulk gets four cards, smash the problem. Bug still has a damage, he didn't attack, did I? You smashed the problem last time. Uh, smash the problem, death focus, you'll pay for that, and a Quinn Carrier. Natasha gets six. We have Quake, Dance of Death, Beat Cop, Synth Suit, and Energy. Okay, we get two threat on the main scheme, Hulk's going to elect to put one threat on here. Uh, Taskmaster is attacking for base four, which Winter Soldier is going to defend. Four, five, six, seven. Winter Soldier's knocked out. Uh, he then goes to scheme on Natasha, but he's confused. Encounter cards. Photographic reflexes is back. And Shadow of the Past is here. Can't do anything about that, so because uh Widow's Nemesis is Taskmaster, he's not gonna make it into play, but everything else will, so Kill for Hire comes to place, so it's place one additional threat for play here, so that's gonna come in five. Three plus one per player. Puts an acceleration icon to play. And these are all going to get shuffled in. And because the Nemesis can come to play, we, all, we have to surge. We have a Hydra Hunter. So his attacks are piercing and ranged. Tash is now our first player. All right. We're going to recover three. We're just going to we're going to spend three resources to put in a beat cop. 
So beat cop, uh, we can exhaust and remove one threat from a scheme to there, which we're going to do. He will that should be over here. Use the safe house to grab a preparation card and bring it back to a hand. We'll just grab Widow's Bite. Electra will attack for three to knock this guy out, and she gets knocked out. Uh, we'll spend two resources to bring in Quake. She's going to thwart one off here, and then White Tide's going to thwart the rest. That's Natasha done. Over on Hulk's turn. And use a Quinn carrier to put it in Death Focus. Um, we're then going to exhaust for a smash the problem. Take three off that. Actually, we'll use our heli carrier to smash the problem and then use plan B to discard random card from a hand and deal two damage, which will knock this off, and then we take two damage. And then we're actually going to flip down. And we're ready up. Right, Natasha gets six cards. We have one, two, three here. Decked out, so we'll get an encounter card. Four, five, six. So we end up with Colson, Genius, Spycraft, Attack Robotics, Daredevil, and a Beat Cop. Bruce gets five. We have Unstoppable Force, Suborbital Leap, Limitless Strength, Unstoppable Force, and Limitless Stamina. Okay. Uh, two threats going to go on here. Let that happen. Uh, no one's in Heraphorn, so we don't need to worry about the situation on that. Taskmaster's going to scheme for two plus one is three. We'll use counterintelligence to prevent three threat from going on the scheme. Then he schemes on. Bruce for two plus two is four, so four threat there. We get our encounter cards. Another one to Widow, one to Bruce. First card, Hydra Mercenary, he comes in with guard. And another capture by Hydra. And over on Hawk's side, Hunter by Hydra, Insight 1, 
So we place one threat on the main scheme, and each player in hero form takes one damage and discards one card random. Luckily, none of us are in hero form. That's at eight. Bruce comes first player. We'll use our ability to draw a card and discard a card. We have enhanced physique. Don't care about that. Um, we are going to recover four. Takes up to 11. We're going to flip up. We take one damage. We're going to use our limitless strength for a sub orbital leap. So remove three threat from the scheme, five threat if we played it, played it with all physical resources, which we did. Take care of capture by Hydra. We get Shang Chi. We'll play Shang Chi. We need to make room for him. Uh, after you play from hand, we could spend an energy resource to stun an enemy, but we don't have energy resource, so that's not going to happen. Uh, he's now going to attack for two. Taking Taskmaster down to 22. We'll then use Death Focus. It doesn't really matter. Um, for Limitless Stamina. Actually, this will work. Because we can exhaust that to reduce the cost, reduce cost of the next superpower we play. Limitless Stamina costs one, it's a superpower. To ready our hero. We'll attack for three on this Hydra Mercenary. Get rid of them. We use the heli carrier and pay, use unstoppable force to pay for the unstoppable force. So two resources, ready Hulk. If you paid for this using only physical resources, which we did, we draw a card. Lockjaw. Um, we will exhaust plan B, discard one random card from our hand, deal two damage to an enemy. We'll then attack for three. Taking Taskmaster down to 17, which heals bug. Bug will thwart one. And we're done over there with Hulk. Natasha's turn. We use the safe house to bring counterintelligence back into our hand. We're then going to use both our gauntlets to play it. Playing a preparation card, we draw a card for another Count Intelligence. We will spend a Genius and Count Intelligence to put Colson into play. After we play him from a hand, or actually enters play, we search our deck and discard by for a preparation card and add to hand. We'll just grab uh, the Count Intelligence back. White Tiger is going to thwart three off here and be knocked out. Going to spend four resources, bring in Daredevil. And he's going to thwart two. After devil thwarts, deal one damage to enemy, so we'll deal one damage to Taskmaster. Colson will thwart two. And Gonna flip up to Black Widow. We're gonna take three damage. That hurts. Um, but then she's gonna attack for two. Taking Taskmaster down the 14. 
and we're ready. Hulk gets four cards. We have a hand cannon, suborbital leap, hand cannon, and strength. Black Widow gets five cards. We have foiled, covert ops, strength, dance of death, and attack robotics. Okay, we get two throughout the main scheme. We'll just select. Put two more threat on here. Uh, actually, when that happened, we'll trigger the counterintelligence to prevent the two threat from first going on. And after you trigger the ability of preparation card, you control deal one damage to enemy. So we'll knock Taskmaster down 13. Then we'll like to throw two threat since we're in hero form. Uh, Taskmaster is going to. Oh. What do I got going on here? Taskmaster is going to attack Hulk. We'll just take it. Oh, Willy. Let's go four damage. Now we'll defend. So four plus two. So six. We take three. And then he's going to attack. Black Widow, which Quake is going to defend, so four, five damage all up, knocking out Quake. Counter cards. Uh, concussion grade revealed. You are stunned, because we're in hero form. Deal one damage to hero, two damage if you're already stunned. So we have a stun, but because it's steady, it's not going to affect us. I remember up here. And we took one damage. And for Black Widow. Place four threat on each side scheme. If there are no side schemes in play, discard cards from the Dog Counter deck until one is discarded and reveal it. So we're discarding. We get none. The discard stops. But we get acceleration icon or token, in fact, in play. Okay, Black Widow becomes first player. We will... Spend three resources for a Dance of Death. So make the following three attacks in order, deal one damage to enemy, deal two damage to enemy, deal three damage to enemy. So it's going to be one damage, two damage, three damage, taking Taskmaster down to seven. She will thwart for two. She'll spend a physical and a mental resource to just get rid of Hydra Sidearm. We will... Uh, that's fine, we'll attack for two with Daredevil. Taking Taskmaster down to five. Colson will attack for one. Taking down to four. And we can stay up as Widow for this round. We will. Use a heli carrier and a suborbital leap to put in a hand cannon for Hulk. 
comes in with three counters. We can exhaust the hand cannon to remove a counter and we get plus two attack and overkill. Death focus should be ready. We will spend another two resources to put another hand cannon to play. I'm running out of board space. Uh, Shang-Chi will attack the two, taking Taskmaster down to two. Hulk is actually going to flip down and we're ready. Okay, Black Widow gets five cards. We've got Professor X, Grappling Hook, Grappling Hook, Espionage, and a Beat Cop. Bruce gets, oops, Bruce gets five cards. Got Hulk Smash, Thunderclap, a movable object, and the stamina, and we've decked out so we get an encounter card. And a moment of triumph. All right. We get three threat on the main scheme. Taskmaster is going to attack Widow. Colson's going to jump in the way of that. So three, four. Colson's knocked out. Uh, he schemes on Bruce for two plus one is three. Oh, I forgot. Uh, Widow would just add one threat to the main scheme. Encounter cards. First of all, Black Widow, she gets Taskmaster's Shield. So he gains Retaliate at one. Uh, we can exhaust and spend a mental and physical to get rid of this card in hero form. Bruce's cards. Hunter by Hydra, we have Insight 1. Uh, each player in hero form takes one damage and discards one card at random from the hand. So, Widow takes a damage, discards a card at random from her hand. This one, Professor X. And uh, the last, Capture by Hydra. Bruce's first player. Hmm. We're going to use our ability to draw a card and discard a card. Stamina. We're not going to play the Hulk Smash, unfortunately, so. Go away. Oh, unless. No, we'll throw away a thunderclap. Chang Chi is going to attack for two. Takes consequential. And retaliated, but doesn't matter. It's taken out. It's going to move us to the next stage of Taskmaster. When revealed, deal each player encounter card. And same thing, we have to, when we flip to hero, we take damage. And Taskmaster has uh, 17 health per player, so he's going to come in with 34.
we're going to recover for we're going to flip up take three damage not what I wanted we're going to use our death focus to play limitless stamina to ready we're then going to spend three resources making a basic attack we're going to exhaust one of our hand cannons and another one of our hand cannons so we're doing three four five six seven seventeen damage to taskmaster Taking him down to 17, he retaliates on us for one. That was a basic attack which heals Bug. Bug will throw one off here. That'll be it. Uh, we will use the beat cop, take a threat off here. Data will thwart for two. Get knocked out. I'm debating again. I'm going to spend three resources to put another beat cop. We'll exhaust them. Take the last thread off here. We get Moon Knight. We'll put Moon Knight into play. After we play him, we could spend a wild resource to draw two cards, but we don't have any resources left. Uh, we will then we'll thwart two, thwart two. Let's not be too uh, too risky, eh? Then we'll flip down. Use our safe house to find counterintelligence. Use our gauntlets to put counterintelligence in play, which will draw us a card. <laughs> Power of Justice. So we don't have that wild resource now for Moon Knight. Um, and that'll be that. Ready up. Just as a reminder, Hulk is steady, hence that stun's not affecting us. Uh, Hulk gets four cards, we have a crushing blow, limitless strength, suborbital leap, and limitless stamina. Tasha will get four, five more cards, we have Electra, Dance of Death, Widow's Bite, uh, Spycraft and Espionage. Okay, three threat goes to go on the scheme, but we're just going to stop that with counterintelligence. Hulk elects to put one threat on the scheme since he's in hero form. Uh, Taskmaster is attacking Hulk for base four. Bug is actually going to defend it. So we got four, five, six coming in, knocking out Bug.
Then he schemes over Natasha for three plus one is four. Taking us to nine out of 28. And counter cards. Firstly, Hulk, we have Insight 1, taking that to 10. Each player in hero form takes one damage, discards one card at random from the hand. Get down to 5. There's a random card. Well, the stamina, of course, it is. And Hydra Mercenary of Guard. Over on Natasha's side, Alter Ego, you are confused and place one throughout in the main scheme, two if you're already confused. One threat. We get confused. And photographic reflexes. Over to Natasha. We're going to put a lecture in for free. We're going to use a power and all of us as a physical resource. So after you play a lecture from your hand, uh, spend a physical resource to deal three damage to enemy. We'll just do it to Taskmaster, which won't be retaliate because it's just dealing damage. Uh, Natasha will recover three. Uh, we'll do our trick to bring counterintelligence back in, which will draw us a card, get espionage. Uh, calculate here. Can't do enough damage to finish him. So we will use the beat cops. Take three thread off here. Oh, sorry. Uh, that three damage would have done that. So what we will do, we'll just get rid of the Hydra Mercenary instead. I don't like the idea of Widow taking three damage. I like it, the idea of anyone taking three damage, quite honestly. Uh, what we will do, though, Moon Knight will actually. Yeah, will he? No, he won't. Moon Knight will thwart for two. We'll use a Dance of Death. No, I kind of really want to hold on to that. We will... Use the Halley Carrier. Put an Espionage. Now I'm really going around space. Uh, we'll use... An Espionage to put in... Spycraft. Then we're actually going to throw away Widow's Bite. Electra's just going to sit there. Hulk. It's going to do a suborbital leap. Get that under control. Let's 
going to flip down, cover four, taking him up to nine. And we'll hold on to crushing blow. We'll ready up. Uh, so you're all in play. Aren't you? Yep. My deck there. Okay. Tasha draws another five cards. Foiled. Nick Fury. Uh, Parent all of us foiled. And Spycraft. <laughs> all right. Bruce gets his five cards. We have Unstoppable Force, Unstoppable Force, Lockjaw, Suborbital Leap, and Strength. Right. Three threat goes on the main scheme, but we trigger our counterintelligence, so it doesn't happen. No one's in hero form. Uh, Taskmaster schemes on Natasha for three, plus three is six. He then schemes on Bruce for three plus four. Taking us to 11. Encounter cards. Hydro Patrol. Back from the start of the game. And this card gains Surge. We'll trigger our preparation card over here. When a search keyword on the counter card will be resolved, we draw two cards. So Covert Ops and a Winter Soldier. And we've got Hydra Regular who's got Insight 1. Okay, let's see what we can do. Wait. Oh, never mind. That card should be there. This is here. <laughs> Okay. I need to calculate. All right, let's just see what happens. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out. Okay. Flip up into Hulk. We're going to use Lockjaw for a crushing blow and deal three damage. We get retaliated for one. Oh, sorry. We also took one damage when we flipped up. We're going to attack, exhaust our cannons. So three, four, five, six, seven. You know what, can I? I'm gonna try, actually no, it's fine. So for seven, taking Taskmaster down to eight, he retaliates again. We'll use our heli carrier. And sub will leak the pay for unstoppable force. Ready Hulk. If you do this only using physical resources, we draw a card, which we will. Got strength. All right, well, we'll attack for another three. Take him down to five. He retaliates on us again. We'll use physical resources for unstoppable force to ready Hulk. And if so physical, we draw a card. Have a thunderclap. We will uh, exhaust plan B, discard a random card from our hand, and we're going to get rid of the Hydra regular, because why not? Why not? We're under control, right? Hulk's then going to attack for three. 
Taking Taskmaster down to two. Hawks down to four. Just for fun, let's flip up to Black Widow. She takes no damage. We'll spend one, two, three resources for a Dance of Death. Make the following three attacks in order. Deal one damage to enemy, deal two damage to enemy, deal three damage. So we deal one. Sorry, I realized I forgot about photographic reflexes back way back when. So I'm assuming if I had done a attack with Hulk for three, then I'd have another three damage on him down here. Which means there'd still be five damage on him. But we do our dance of death. So we hit for one, take a damage, hit for two, take a damage, then hit for three and defeat Taskmaster. Um, and even if I mucked up a bit there with the doing the damage or that sort of thing, there was options here for Moon Knight and Electra still to also add another five damage. We could have also eternally like done that differently. We can play Winter Soldier for all our preparation cards to get him in for damage. Red Nick Fury if we really wanted to. There's multiple ways to finish it off at the end. So I hope you enjoyed this team up with uh, Black Widow and Hulk. Once again, Hulk strongest one there is. Black Widow, always so much fun the way she plays in Alter Ego, as I'm sure everyone knows. Uh, but yeah, this is a fun game. Hope you enjoyed it. If you did, a like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.